Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor by Impass Life Pro. Today, I'm going to show you how to install shaders through the use of Optifine for Minecraft version 1.9. My friends, here's how it's done. Before we start things off, here are the items you will need. First, you'll need specifically Optifine 1.9.0 HD UA0 Pre.Jar. Second, you will need a shaders pack. I will be using the Continuum Preview 1.8.9, which I have tested. It does work in 1.9. And don't worry, both these items download links are in the description. Alright, first step, open up Minecraft and click New Profile. For the profile name, you can name it whatever you'd like, but in my case, I'm going to go with 1.9 Shaders No Forge. When you've done that, move to Use Version. Scroll up and find Release 1.9 and click it. As an optional step, depending on your system's amount of RAM, you can allocate it to Minecraft. I've been told that 2-4 to GB of RAM is your best bet. So, to do this, simply uncheck the box that reads JVM Arguments and delete everything past 1G. Currently, 1 GB of RAM is allocated. To allocate 4 gigs of RAM, simply change 1 to 4. Of course, if you only have 4 gigs of RAM, I'd recommend going with 2 or 3. Click Save Profile. Find your profile, then click Play. When Minecraft loads up, quit the game. Now, let's install our Optifine Shaders mod combination. Double click the jar file. Click install. Alright, as of now, let's move back to Minecraft. Locate your profile, mine's 1.9 shaders, no forge, and click edit profile. For this part, the only thing we're going to change is the version, so locate this 1.9 Optifine version with the A0 underscore pre on the end. This is the one we need, so click it and save profile. Make sure your profile is selected, then click play. Alright, now that Minecraft's loaded up, the last thing we need to do is implement our shaders pack. To do this, follow my lead. Click the options tab, video settings, shaders, and then shaders folder. Here is where you'd add in your shaders pack. Make sure your shader is selected. Oh and yes, to bypass a little issue at the moment where the lighting simply doesn't disperse properly, I'd recommend turning normal maps off for the time being. If you were to leave it on while using the shader, or the SUS for that matter, then you'd see what I mean. This was just a way I found to fix that problem, so I thought I'd share it with you. Click Done. When you check this out in Minecraft, all is well. You have shaders working perfectly for Minecraft 1.9, so my job here is complete. If this tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!